man. This is a, a game changer. Okay, let me set the, the volume. That's better. Okay. Well, it ha happened. It happened. Like they say, oh. like they say, this is a game changer. It looked hopeless. Trump faked this assassination attempt. The poor schmuck. I wonder what they told the assassin. Oh. It's it's a movie shoot, so pretend you're assassinating the president. And then all of a sudden, a Secret Service takes his life. Why he sprays fake uh, blood all over him. Isn't it funny how it went? How it went? He uh, fell down behind the podium. And he took a, some type of capsule, poured blood on his face, and then... He got up, and he does, like a bad actor, he does. These people think he's, God sent him a uh, special delivery, COD, from heaven. If there's a hell, I think he came from that direction, right? Okay, here's what's going to happen. Um, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, okay, I don't have a picture of that. No, don't have a picture of that. Okay. What's going to happen? Now, I think this was a conspiracy itself. That's why he chose, he chose the left of center Kamala, Kamala Harris uh, for uh, sneaking in a token biracial woman in. And uh, it's a perfect plot. A lot of conspiracy crap. Uh, not that I believe it, but I don't think it's far-fetched. There's a reason why people will choose certain, certain vice presidential uh, candidates. They get somebody who's more politically radical than they are for assassination assurance. That's why uh, Trump, uh, that's why he got... Uh, Pence, Michael Pence, because the guy was so boring and so dull, nobody would want to kill, uh, assassinate Trump and have him become president. That's why they, uh, January 6th, they said, hang Mike Pence. So, game changer. It looked hopeless. It looked like uh, Trump is just going to slide in there. And uh, make America into a, a corporate nationalist Christian country. Run by the corporations, of course. But it's not going to, it's just not going to happen now. It's just not going to happen. So... The media is going to try to make the Democratic Convention look chaotic. They're going to make the protesters who are peacefully protesting outside the convention make it look like a rock-throwing riot. So it's anybody, anybody who tells you that the media is liberal, you go up to them and go, 
slap their face here. What? The media is liberal? It's not. So, my children, maybe we're going to get out of this Trump mess. But let this be a warning. Don't let the two-party system pick your candidates for them. You, and I'm talking about you sitting there and you laying there. Okay, you're laying there. Yeah. Uh, you pick your candidates. Don't let the national committees of either party pick your candidate. Because after all, and this is the millionth time I'm going to say this, the Democrats come in and fix everything, uh, pay the debt, get more jobs, and then the Republicans come in there, screw everything up, saying, oh, you're going to have low taxes if you have a business, oh. And then uh, after that, after they after they vandalize and empty the, uh, the United States Treasury, Democrats have to come back in, fix it, and they come, and Republicans come in and ruin everything. And, and uh, you think, you think that the Democrats are rivals to the Republican? It's the same party, you stupid. Never mind. All right? And that's all I got to say today. Ta ta. And remember. This is the end, my only friend, the end.